Hi, I'm Ellen Sweeney and welcome to this week's edition of Tips for iOS. In this week's edition, we're going to talk about shooting video, slow-mo, and time-lapse from your iPhone and iPad. Before we get into the uh, shooting video part, let's go to settings and make sure that our settings are correct for the video we want to shoot. So go ahead and tap on settings and then scroll down to photos and camera and tap on that and then scroll down to the camera area and you'll see record video and record slow-mo. Go ahead and tap on record video and here you'll be given a few choices. I have an iPhone 6 so I'm given three choices of 720 at 30 FPS, 1080 at 30 FPS, or 1080 at 60 FPS. FPS stands for frames per second and I always want to shoot at the highest uh, frames per second that I can so that I get the best quality video that I can. It does take up a little more space, but it's well worth it. So go ahead and tap back. And now we're going to go into record slow-mo. And again, I'm going to choose the best quality I can, which is 720p at 240 FPS. And you'll notice below that that it tells you how much space that it's going to take up. If you have a uh, an iPhone that has 16 gigs of space. Um, you might want to be careful about how much video you shoot and how much space it takes up. But if you have one of the newer iPhones that has 32, 64, 128 gigs of space, go ahead and shoot at the highest quality that you can. Well, now that we have our settings where we want them to be, let's go ahead into the camera app. So tap on camera. And as you can see, we're ready to take a still photo that's highlighted in yellow. To, sh to go into video, you're gonna slide from the left to the right, and now we're in video and we're ready to shoot. All you need to do is push the red button to start the video, and you'll push the red button to stop the video. If we wanted to shoot slow-mo, we'd slide over one more time and now we're in slow-mo. And if we wanted to shoot a time-lapse video, you'd slide over one more time, and now you're in time-lapse. One thing I want to caution you about when shooting video, if you want a great looking video, you want to shoot in landscape mode. You don't want to shoot in portrait mode. The video just will not look nearly as good. So just remember that when shooting video, shoot in landscape mode. Well, now that we learned a little bit about how to shoot video, Let's learn about how to edit video. So last year when I was in the Finger Lakes, I shot some video, uh, slow-mo video of a waterfall. So let me show you how to edit that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Photos app. And here you'll see all my photos. And I really want to get straight to video, so I'm going to touch Albums at the bottom. And you'll see that Apple has already created a album that says slow-mo. So I'm going to tap on that. And then I'm going to select the video that I want to edit. And once I do that, I'm going to tap Edit in the upper right-hand corner. And so this is the slow-mo video, and you can choose to uh, edit it so the whole video is slow-mo, or I can just make a portion of the video slow-mo. And to do that, you'll see underneath the video is a little slider, and, and right below that, you'll also see all the frames of the video that I shot. But what I can do with this slider is either lengthen the slow-mo portion or shorten it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it really short. And then I'm going to tap on play. And you'll see I'm in regular video and now I'm in slow-mo. And then shortly thereafter I'm going to come out of slow-mo and I'm back in regular video. And so that's how you would edit your slow motion video. The last thing I want to show you is how you would take a still photo while you were shooting video. So what you need to do is go into your camera app and as you can see I'm, I'm on photo so I'm going to slide over to video and I'm going to tap the red button. And when I do you're going to see a white button comes up on the left. If I tap on that you'll see the screen flash and I've just taken a photo, a still photo, but I'm still shooting video. When I'm finished shooting video, I'll tap on the red button and now I finished shooting video.
Well, that's it for this week's edition of Tips for iOS. I hope that for those of you who haven't shot video before, this gives you a little bit of an idea of how to go about doing it, and I hope you'll get out there and take some great video. I'll see you next week on Tips for iOS.